Hey everyone out in YouTube world, it is Craig from Flying Wheels. Today I have one that's interactive. I want your opinions on how to deal with this situation. So you know the game and you know your score. What am I driving today? And what's everybody at? Keep a tally, let me know where you're at because eventually someone's gonna win a prize. Don't lie, tell the truth. All right, so if you're into car stuff, if you're into business stuff, if you're not subscribing, make sure to subscribe. If you are already, thank you very much. Appreciate it always. All right, here's what I'm driving. If you haven't commented already, comment down below. Five, four, three, two, one. I have a car dealer scenario for you. This is one of those interactive videos where I genuinely want to know how you guys would handle this situation. But before you make a decision, I really want you to put yourself in my situation and try to decide as if it was your own money tied up into this vehicle. How would you handle the situation? What decisions would you make? And what avenue would you go to take care of this scenario? So let's get started. I bought this 2012 Nissan Maxima, 109,000 miles at a dealer auction. I bought it red light, red light meaning as is, no warranties, no buybacks, every defect is my, I assume every defect. So that's normal in any car auction scenario. Typically anything with over 10 years or over 100,000 miles is sold red light. So if it has a bad engine, has a bad transmission, needs brakes, whatever, I assume responsibility for it. If it runs great and it's over 10 years and over 100,000 miles, it's still sold red light. So I bought this car red light. It needs a transmission. Here's what's going on. So I'm in a 2012 Nissan Maxima, 109,000 miles. That's fairly new for a Japanese car. But watch what happens. I'm going to try to get going real quick. So I'm going to, I get it floored right now, flooring it and the thing is barely getting out of its own way. It's a CVT transmission. It's their automatic, constant, variable, constant velocity transmission, something like that, whatever. So anyway, I have the thing floored and I'm trying to just go and it's not moving. So here I am just putting along the side of the highway at four miles an hour because this thing won't get out of its own freaking way. I bought this car at the auction. It has a bad transmission. It's my own fault for not looking at it. I should have. You can't really drive them at the auction. It's a small little area. There's not much you can do to test drive a car. Someone brought it through the auction knowing it had a bad transmission. It has a bad transmission. I got stuck with it. So this situation's happened before. Now, typically it is customary to run this stuff back through the auction. I know a lot of you viewers really don't like that, but it's different when it's in a private dealer only auction, it's different than your public auctions that you're used to. So a lot of times dealers, they, they can't get burned with a vehicle like this, so they'll rerun it back through the auction. Oh, here I am, I'm going downhill. All right, we're picking up. Oh yeah, down, all it took was a little bit of a hill to get the thing moving. All right, so anyway, in a dealer only auction, a lot of times it's, it's normal for dealers to run the stuff that they don't wanna fix or sell back through the auction. And it's up to the buyers to go through the car and inspect it and make sure they know what they're getting. Again, I've said it before, buyer beware. Buyer needs to know what he or she is buying. But this stuff will go back through the auction. So this is a CVT transmission, which is a non-serviceable, non-shifting transmission. The transmission shops won't even touch these because they don't even know how the heck to work on them. So a lot of times you're just out of luck. So I paid like four grand for this car. If I sell it for parts, it's worth like a thousand bucks. If I bring it through the auction, I might get three, 3,500 if I'm lucky. If I'm really lucky, I might get my money back to get my $4,000 back to just break even and then hope that the next buyer took their time to look through it and knew what they were getting into. Oh, geez, here I am coming up to a red light. That means I'm coming to a stop. I got to start this whole process over. Luckily, it's down a hill. So anyway, I want to know what you guys would do. Obviously, the high road, yeah, take a $3,000 loss sell it for parts to somebody that could fix a transmission. I know that's what 100% of you guys would all do out there. Take the high road, have the integrity, sell it cheap, but it's not your $4,000 you're losing. So I want you to put yourself in this situation. I haven't done anything yet. I haven't made any decisions. I just wanna know what you guys would do. So the car is a bad transmission. It doesn't shift, it doesn't move. No one will fix it. Replace it, it is a $2,800 transmission at the junkyard. To get a used transmission is $2,800 plus $1,500 to have it installed. So almost the price of the car is the cost of the transmission to have it installed. So that's what I'm looking at to repair it. After it's done, that three and change thousand dollars, oh, here we go, I got it floored. I'm not moving, people are getting pissed. Here I am back just putting along the side of the highway while traffic follows me. 
So in a car dealer situation, it's tough because we have five, six cars in line to get serviced. I don't have the time to just have a transmission installed in a car, nor does anybody even want to touch a CVT transmission because nobody knows how to work on them or they just don't want to install them. And then the CVT transmission, if you can find them at a junkyard, they're a ton of money. Okay, here we go. We're moving. We're moving along again. I'm 40 miles an hour. Hopefully this light doesn't turn red or I'm in deep. So here's the maximum. Before you make a decision, let's do a walk around around the outside because now you know that it has a bad transmission. But as well as the bad transmission, you can see that the bumper's all dinged up. Now we have some scrapes here, scrape here. We got a dent in the fender, pushed in bumper. We got some scrapes here, a dent in the door and the fender. So this car needs some work. It needs some work cosmetically. It needs some work mechanically. It's a big job. And you can see how, I mean, how much stuff we have going on. The place is absolutely packed in the middle of tax season when we're already busy. We have customers lined up. I have four or five jobs or two weeks out already on service work. So this car is going to tie up a ton of money. I'm not saying any decision is right. I'm not saying any decision is wrong. I want to know what decision you guys would make. What is your scenario? What is your decision, how would you decide if you were in my position? A lot of cars, money tied up into the car, double the price if I fix it, take a loss, take a huge loss by selling it locally, take a huge loss if I list it, saying there needs a transmission which isn't necessary or repping it just red light means as is, the way it is, and they buy it. How would you guys handle this situation? So I genuinely want you guys to put yourself in my position. I have 35 cars. I have $4,000 plus tied up into this car. A, re a replacement transmission is almost the cost of this car. Or you can just run it back through the auction, which is normal. So in a car dealer auction, this is typical. I bought it this way. You can run it back through this way. You don't have to announce it. If you do announce it, you get a fraction of what you paid for it. It is normal to do it this way, but you as a buyer should know what you're buying before beforehand. Like I didn't, because now I'm now I, I have no one to blame but myself. I didn't look at this car ahead of time, and now I'm the one that burned myself. Nobody burned me. I did it. Now I could run it back through the auction and let's say burn somebody else, but it's up to them to know what they're buying. So that's the situation. Do you double down on this car? to then have a $6,000 car that you have $8,000 invested into, do you sell it at the auction the way it is and get most of your money back, or do you announce it red light and, and bad transmission, which isn't necessary and no one ever, ever does in this business, and sell it for scrap, basically? I wanna know genuinely what you guys would do in this situation if you were me, if it was your money. So think about it if it was your money. Oh, here we go got stuck at a red light again so uh, this is awful so this is normal in this business I mean somebody ran it through because it had a bad transmission shame on them for being the first person to run it through the system it is not really realistic to replace this transmission what would you guys do tell me your comments down below none are wrong I just want you guys to know and think what it's like to be a car dealer in this situation and how you would handle it because it is normal it's going to happen to you you're gonna get cars with bad transmissions some it's worth it for you to put a transmission in some it's not this case it is absolutely not worth it in any in any case to put a transmission in this car how would you guys handle the situation let me know also subscribe for more car stuff um, I'll give you a lot of scenarios of the spots I get put in and and you can think about what you would do in other situations as well. So make sure you're subscribing. I'll see you guys all later. Adios.